guys, it's Jamie with Not Too Shabby. So glad you could join me today. I have um, a bunch of new releases to share with you, but first I wanted to share something super awesome. We have our Stamp of the Month Club or our Stamp and Die Club. So, so this month we have this really cute stamp set called Autumn Fun. It's perfect for all your fall cards. And how fun would it be to make a scrapbook page? It would be also fun to make a scrapbook page with the stamp set. I know I would love to do that. I went to the sunflower fields and this would be perfect. So we've got this really pretty image here of a fence with sunflowers in the background, a little pumpkin in the front. We've got a little banner that says, Hello Autumn, with a little crow sitting at the top. We've got a scarecrow here, a pumpkin, another batch here of sunflowers, a sentiment that says, Fall is the season of change. And then we've got a little thank you here. So really cute, and you can get this with the coordinating die. So we now have Shabby Snips coordinating dies. So this is only for our stamp and die club. So each month there's going to be a new stamp set. So you can pick this up, just the stamp of the month club, if you didn't want the dies, or you can pick it up as a pair and get the die. Now you can purchase these items as a one-time purchase, you just won't get the discount. So when you check out, choose monthly for your frequency and you'll get the 18% discount for the stamp of the month club. You can cancel any time. Um, we would love for you to stay at least three months. So the two listings are under subscriptions. You'll see those. You'll also see our box of the month, which is packed full of stamps, um, papers, ephemera. So that's a really big box and you can get that every, every month. So right now is our fall box. It's super cute. So check out the subscription section in the shop the link will be in the description box. So I did wanna show you what the stamps look like. Stamped out and cut out with the dies. Look how cute, isn't that precious? And then I do love it that it cut out the inside portion here between the flowers and the fence. So I am going to color these up and create a card and I'll share it in a new video. And um, here, I haven't popped them out yet, but look how cute the little words are cut out. Look at that little thank you. You could use that on any of your cards. Really, really cute, I love it. There's that little banner. So, so cute. And here's two more. So just love it. Gives it a perfect little frame around your stamped image. So we have new releases. I have, I have limited quantities on these, so shop early for the best selection. We have some new Cat Scrappiness dies. I love their dies. So we have um, some spooky fun. Spooky cute, shall I say, dies. We've got a little haunted house. But what's great about this house is this house, you can decorate it um, for any season. And then this is the haunted house add-on. So you can turn it into a spooky house. So I'm sure for Christmas, she's gonna come out with a little winter house, maybe a gingerbread house or something. And then we've got the webs with the cute little spiders. And then here's a spooky fence and a spooky tree. We've got the little pumpkin, the moon, some bats, and some gravestones. And I have been waiting for this. We have a mini slimline envelope die. So it comes with a little add-on here to create some little happy mail. We've got a little frame. And then um, there's hearts, there's the little uh, flap that goes on the top, and then some words that say Happy Mail. So really great for your stash when you need a, an envelope. So it's really cool because you could cut this out with your pattern papers and make pretty envelopes. So we've got new items from CC Designs. Their release was today. So look how cute these little guys are. 
Um, this one is called Halloween Inchies. So they're probably an inch tall is my guess. So look how super cute these images are. We've got Boo, Trick or Treat, and they are just so stinking cute. Look at that girl. <laughs> so cute. And then there is a coordinating die available. We've got a word die that says Boo to You. Nice size die. Halloween Monsters. Isn't that cute? Really, really cute. So we've got a vampire, a Frankenstein, a mummy, and then the sentiments, I'm Betty for you, thank you very much. Wishing you a night of frights and many delights this Halloween. Boo, and have a frankentastic time. And then we have a fall stamp with coordinating die. And this one is called Tiny Autumn. So we've got a crow sitting on a pumpkin, a little fence, a scarecrow, a pumpkin, and then an owl on a little branch. The sentiment's happy fall, y'all. Happy hoot to you. Hey there. And then this really cute die. I think I'm going to get this for myself. Inchy circle die. Isn't that cute? So these circles are probably an inch. There's a little stitching around it, but what I like about it is that you can cut this out several different um, pattern papers and then piece the different um, patterns back in. And I think Teresa from Fresh and Renewed with Teresa did a, a card kind of like this, not with this die, maybe a different die, but I remember her putting circles in a pattern like this. So the dies always make it easier. And I betcha those little inchies fit perfect in these little circles. We've got socks. So cute little um, bear with a little feet sticking out there with cute socks and then a rabbit. Time for warm socks and I love sock weather. So that's from CC Designs. I've got a few things from my favorite things. We've got Gnome for the Holidays. So we've got six different gnomes in different poses. We've got a little shadow to put under their feet. There's no place like gnome for the holidays and from my gnome to yours. The next one here I listed as a bundle. Um, I only have one set and this is the coordinating die to the very cute Christmas carols stamp set by Stacy Yakula. And they are just darling, love this little path here of stones, um, the little light, and then we've got the cute little carolers. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way, silent night, holy night, all is calm and all is bright. So that's listed as one listing. I just put them together because I didn't want to get stuck with the die. Um, I wanted to sell them as a set. So then we have watercolor wash freeform die. So this is just a little um, cute little shape that you can um, cut out and then put little characters in there. Um, I did list these two as a combo special delivery. So we have the stamp set and the die. And we've got the um, cute little cars with cute little peeking critters, presents, so you can decorate it however you want. A whole lot of happy is coming your way. I'm headed to wherever you are. And then this is another little bonus die that you can pick up that goes with this. It's called Cute Caravan, and it's the same little trucks, but um, you can just cut this out in colored cardstock and then add any of your critters to it. And this one as well, I listed as a combo. So we've got the die, and then the Pure Innocence Bright Holidays stamp set. So the cute little girl um, dressed up like a Christmas tree. And the sentiments read, you shine brighter than the star at the top of my tree. You make the holidays bright. And then I have the Meowy Christmas stamp set. Isn't that cute? Cute little tree, cute little cats. And then we've got the fireplace die. And then we have Away in a Manger. So a really sweet image. And then these sentiments read, uh, for unto us a child is born. O come, let us adore him. Jesus is the reason for the season. 
may your heart be filled with the true spirit of Christmas. So really nice stamp set. I have um, some paper from MFT. We've got the Keep Me In Stitches. So I love the pattern. Um, looks just like a sweater. And this is perfect for paper piecing. So it's single-sided. Let me focus in on that. And then the other pattern is these cheerful plaid. I have some items from Honeybee Stamps. We've got the Halloween Harvest paper pad here. And there's some black and white. I love that. Mixed with fall. So you get a little Halloween, a little bit of fall in there. So I love that. And then these match nicely Halloween Harvest gems. And then this one here, Lovely Layers Sunflowers. That makes a beautiful sunflower. Um, and there's detail, embossing, so this is a really nice die. Sweet Stacks Mini Slimline Die. So this is a basic um, slimline stack die. Oh, it's just a basic slimline mini die there. We've got Thanks and the little die that cuts out a Thanks. So you could use it with or without the stamp set. And then you can pair it up with all these little sayings. Thanks for everything. Thanks for being awesome. Thanks for being a ray of sunshine, even on my darkest days. Um, just different options there. This is a grapevine wreath. So it has a pretty little um, bow. And then this goes perfect with it. These are the itty bitty fall flowers to decorate your wreath. Buzz buzzwords seasons. And Bitty Buzzwords Season Stamp Set. So you can use the die with or without the stamp set. So you can see the different seasons and then the little sentiments to pair up with it. So dreaming of fall, wishing you a beautiful autumn, just mix and match. We've got Praying Big Time. So. This is the die to cut out the words here for the stamp sets. So we've got prayers, blessed, blessed, blessings, praying, and then all the little um, sentiments to go above or below your bigger sentiment. So we have all the little sentiments that go with this. Um, very nice stamp set to have in your stash. I have the Life is Gouda die. I'm not sure if I still have the stamp set for that one. We've got Better Together, so here's a really cute stamp set. We are better together, we are all in this together, and then all these cute little forest animals. Um, there's clouds, a tree stump, some acorn, a pumpkin, an acorn, little mouse with a pumpkin. The next one is called Hedgehugs, and I do have the die for that one. So these hedgehugs are really cute, love their little quills on there, and then wrapped up in the scarf. You get their backs and their fronts, so you can do one of those spinner cards um, or put the this on the front and then the back on the inside of the card. We've got Hedgehug Kisses, Everything Gil Be Alright, So Thankful For You, Love You, Sending Hedgehugs, and there's Hearts, Leaves, really cute little bow. And then we've got Trick or treat, so cute little animals all dressed up. This cute scary tree and scary fence, and all these little elements to create a cute little scene. So those are the new items that I have listed in the shop. I'll have um, the link for you in the description box. I hope you guys had a great long weekend. Um, let me tell you a funny story. So I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but I did post a story on my Instagram page. Charlie, okay, we went camping. Um, this was before Labor Day. And we went camping. It was like five and a half hours away. So it's not close. And we set everything up. Um, it was an awesome spot. I'm going to insert a photo so you could see how awesome it was. Um, so we were there maybe like three hours. We even let Charlie off the leash because he's really good. And he was like smelling everything, you know, looked like he was having a good time. But then after maybe like 
an hour or so. He kept going to the truck, like, let's go, and, like, whining. Um, you could tell he was full of anxiety. He was huffing, and he wouldn't stop whining. He kept going to the truck, and he didn't want to leave the truck. He wanted to stay in there, and he just wanted to go home. <laughs> so we decided, let's go. Let's just go now before we before it's dark, and... We can't, you know, we can't take it anymore. And we give up and we're like, okay, let's go home. We didn't want to pack up in the dark. So we left before it got dark and we didn't get home till like two in the morning. <laughs> so can you talk about spoiled dog? <laughs> but um, if Charlie's not having a good time, it's, we weren't going to have a good time. So, um, but that was my little adventure. Uh, I guess Charlie is not a camping dog, or maybe he just didn't like that spot. Um, you can hear off into the distance, there was a bunch of dogs barking, like viciously barking. I think there were hunting dogs and they were like hunting something. <laughs> so I think that made him really nervous. So um, cabining is the way to go for us. <laughs> so I thought I'd share that little adventure with you guys. Um, follow my Instagram for more stories. Um, the link is in my description box. So take care guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.